Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we are heading out to, I believe we're gonna go to Hutch's first for lunch, and then we're gonna uh, hit Hamilton. Um, there's some gift boxes at one of the local dispensaries that uh, Sharon wants to grab for uh, Christmas. They make great gifts. What's the name of the place? Um, you don't I can't remember? Think, I can't think of we'll, it. we'll bring it to you on the, later on in the video. All right, I'm not gonna show the uh, travel part of the video. Um, nobody wants to hear us chat. So anyway, I will see you guys uh, on the next one. Uh, hang tough. All right, guys, we're here at uh, Hutch's. We're gonna have lunch here, so hang with. No. Nice little view. Oh, it's better. <coughs> it's better on the other side. You see, yeah. Dwayne, when they had the old cars, <coughs> and bikes, and motorcycles, they'd come right here. There, all in that whole parking lot. Nice. It was cool seeing all the old bicycles. Yeah. Old cars. Nice old uh, motorcycle. I think I think they even have uh, e-bike chargers out here, plugs for e-bikes, so you can plug in your e-bike. Around the back. Yeah, that's Ooh. awesome. Yeah. So you can plug in your bike over here. Yeah. Nice. Come out here, have lunch for half an hour, get a quick charge. No, so no, you need to have, come out here, plug it in, and have like two, three, two or three hours charge. Yeah, but they, if you can't spend three hours out on a beach, I mean, what's the problem? <laughs> Fair enough. In some yeah. time too, right? There's tons to do out here. Remember the Paul Bernardo thing, right? With mm -hmm. Christian French and Leslie Mahaffey? He was the Scarborough rapist. So at, in the morning, in the summertime, we were, um, they like jogging down here on the path. And there was so many girls that were being raped and killed. And um, they know it was him that done it, but they can't prove it. And you know he has his uh, bail hearing? Mm-hmm. She's not allowed anywhere. No. She's not allowed anywhere in Ontario, right? Uh, yeah, I think she's, yeah. a, isn't she in Montreal? I thought she, she goes all Montreal. over the place. I thought place. she was married now and in Montreal. Well, she has her, um... She even has kids. They yes. let this monster have kids. Three yeah, daughters she has. Kids. That's crazy. And she married her lawyer. Of course. She's probably the only one who'd ever want to fucking touch her. And why would a why? lawyer in the right mind why? want to go up with that kind of a person? You know what they say about psychos, right? Mm -hmm. they, they have this weird following. People get attracted to psychos. Right? And uh, Leslie Mahaffey, no, yeah, Leslie Mahaffey only lives around the corner from my, lives around the corner from my daughter where she lives now. My daughter showed me where she was taken from. Wow. Because my daughter's friend still lives in that building. But I know they tore down the one in Porto Luzzi. The, the house. house, yeah. 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 Too many tourists probably going by there. Breaking in and all that stuff, doing seances and shit. Mm. Mm. Yeah. There was some weird shit happening in that place. Now he has his bail hearing coming up. With the courts. <coughs> <coughs> He's been in jail wide over 30 years. <coughs> yeah, you'll never get I'm good. <coughs> you'll never get out. <laughs> good. Well, they've turned him down a few times. Hopefully they keep turning. Oh, he is a cyclone. He's got to be fucking pissed at her, though. She just threw him under the bus pretty much, right? She only did, what, 10 years, I think it was? No. Not even. Not no. Even. Two months. That's it? Two months. I thought she had years. No, I she know. helped murder her. She helped murder her. Yeah, like, and her but sister. But the thing was, She's he took all the blame. blame. than he was. She's the one She's that the one killed one brought him. brought him home. And she cut a deal. But they said, you know why they cut her a deal? Because they would have never known anything, where the bodies were or nothing until she came forward. That's why she got less. Two months in jail. She, she Not even two part. months. She got away with it. I got the books on that, you know. I got the Canadian book and I got the American book. And the American book tells you more of the detail. Mm -hmm. Of course. Because that's when uh, my ex was driving transport and he was telling me that the book is out over there. I said, get it for me when you're over there. Because I got the Canadian one. And then now I have the American one. I still have them both. And American tells you more detail. <coughs> and raping and killing your own fucking sister. Yeah, she, well. They got her drunk. They went to a wedding and they got her drunk. 
They She's raped only her. 14, 15. Mm -hmm. They got her drunk. And they, uh, and they raped her, her, and then they suffocated. She suffocated her own sister. I think she was raped multiple times, like over the course of a few hours, and then they decided yeah. to kill her. Yeah. Just to keep her quiet. Yeah, and then her parents, her mom. Well, she was coming out of the drugs. And there. then her parents forgive her for that. How can you forgive her for that? I would hold that against her for the rest of my life. No, and that she killed my other. The daughter. very fact that they let her have more kids and let her just go—that's yeah, insane. She has three she daughters. Fix her or something. Three yeah. daughters. Chemical. Can you imagine being those kids? But she was also no. your mom's a killer. Right? Yeah. She was volunteering she in a school. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She volunteered but in a school too. In a school, and she was bringing her dog for a support dog, and one woman caught on to who she was, and turned her in. Good. And she got put out of that school. Good. Yeah, and now she's she can't believe that no one will let her or their children play with her daughters. <coughs> I wouldn't want my daughter around. Her I kids. wouldn't want my daughter around. Or any of them. them off or something like that, right? Because yeah. well, who knows what the daughter will? Who knows how she's taught her daughters? It's okay to kill. Exactly. I mean, you don't. She's a psychopathic a brain doesn't just change. Even though her husband's a lawyer, he's a sicko too. For even more, wanting right? anything to do with her, yeah. Like, why would you want to go out with something like that, being a lawyer? Maybe Unless the lawyers are scumbag, too. Nobody wants them. So, you know, scumbags stick together, I think. Yeah. And like I said, psychopaths, they get that weird following. Mm -hmm. For some reason, people have a massive attraction for murderers. And you know that she can live anywhere around the world. She has her, um, what is that called? Her, uh, where you can live. Dual citizen? Or yeah. Whatever? Yep. That's why she'll go to the States, she'll come back here, and she's all over the place. That's crazy. Last poll. But if you Google what she looks like today, and what he looks like today, it shows a picture. It'll show you a picture of what she looks like now. You know what that's for? Like. Uh, so your dogs can pee. That's our oh, nice. her. Yeah. Exit. Oh, guys. We probably could have got in there. <laughs> Are you getting the foot bomb in the rain? Yeah, I think so. So if I order a small fight, because you got a lot, you mm -hmm. can have like most of them. Okay. Because they give you so much that it no way. Mm -hmm. not eating that foot bomb, you can't even eat a whole mm -hmm. thing. You probably could, but I can't. Oh, yeah. Tony, my friend that died, that I buried beside my daughter, mm -hmm. his brother used to play hockey, and his pictures are in some of these that his mother was pointing out. That's neat. Yeah. Hey, hey. Hey, can I get the um, foot bomb jelly dogs? Mm -hmm. Oh, we want two of them. And a uh, small fry. Gravy. Uh, so what do you, what do you want to drink, uh, Dwayne? Uh, a coffee. Um, I'll get the cream soda. Okay, Jordan. Uh, let's get a poutine and a coffee as well. Just a poutine. I don't want a hot dog. You should get something more to eat. Come on now. Yeah, I'll get a hot dog too. What do you like on the hot dog? Uh, ketchup, mustard, and relish, please. Yeah. yeah, that's good with me, too. Did you order something for Yeah, you got a coffee. Oh. Okay. Thanks. That'll be debit. Last time we were here, I got a shirt. I was, I still wear it. Yeah, we're from Hamilton, right? I'm from Hamilton. They're from Welland. Oh, yeah? So I brought them here, and I got them Sure. I'm his probation officer. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Card problem. You might have to put it in. It's flickering. No, you're good. Tap it. There you go. Is there any way we could overlook the, see out the... Yeah, there's people yeah. there. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, they'll call us by number. Yeah, we'll call one. What number are we? 115. Okay, we will sit down there. 
Hmm. Which side? There's a booth there. Hey, you want to sit where we last sat? We sat in here last time. We had fun trying to sit in here with Chris. Yeah. You see it in the wintertime, it's beautiful. The chair, the, the table had to be like this for him. <laughs> and then they were, yeah, they were all jammed in there. In the wintertime, it's beautiful. Try these on. It's beautiful in the winter. You'll be amazed. Oh. I have over $4,000 worth of sunglasses. Have you tried that? I got like 13 pair at home. Oh. Yeah. One of these pictures. Yeah, which one she said it was? He's in one of these pictures here. That's your. That's who? Uh, my friend that uh, died. His brother. Well, he died now too. She lost. She had three sons, and all three sons died. Her husband just died. Her, her, her um, oldest son and her husband died less than a week apart. Wow. So now she's the only one, but now she's got dementia. So if I phone her, um, she goes, who is this? And I said, Sharon. She goes, I don't know Sharon. I said, yes, you do, Mark. I said, Tony's buried beside Patty. Oh, 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 now I know. So that's how I have to tell her who I am. Aww. Because Tony's beside Patty. So as soon as I say that, then she flips in. But she lost her license. Yeah. One eleven. Or one fifteen. But yeah, it's horrible though. She, when she lost uh, Gordon, Gordon was her middle son. Um, he went to his friend's house and they were watching a hockey game. And uh, he brought some kind of alcohol, but he forgot the orange juice. So they said there was a jug of orange juice in the fridge, just use that. So he poured his drink, poured the orange juice in it. With less than five minutes, he died. Here it was fucking methadone. The methadone, that's orange flavored he methadone. The guy that, that it was his house, he was buying methadone from different people, so he was just pouring it all so in. Told him it was orange juice. And it so, was yeah. Juice. Possible they didn't know, or I, mean, I can't see them doing it on purpose, right? You don't give somebody methadone on purpose unless you want them dead. In five minutes, he was dead. And then Tony, um, Tony was the youngest one. Um, he was my best friend. He, he was gay. Um, Patty, all oh, everybody just loved Tony. Everybody. I mean, he was so funny. I mean, he was a character. I mean, you're always laughing. And um, so he helped me out a lot after Patty died. He was at my house all the time, helping me with the gardening and just keeping my mind away from it all. Mm -hmm. And um, so he had to go in and have a stent put into his heart. And um, he ended up dying of regenerative heart failure. But um, Juliet was sick at school, so I went to pick her up. And uh, I've seen the ambulances and the fire trucks in front of their house because they were only like six doors down. Juliet goes, no, no, there's firemen all at it on this house. And I'm going, oh, shit. So I hurried up, parked my car. We ran down. And Mark, his mother, was on the front porch crying. She said that Tony, she just got back from her appointment. Tony made it up the stairs and said, I can't do it. Died wow. And um, so the father was on the phone, the fire department phone down the road. They were there within no time and they were trying to resuscitate him. Well, she wanted to go in and he said she can't go in because it was the kitchen floor right by the door in the back. So I was trying to talk to her and try to keep her calm while she was a star. And I'm going, Lord, no, they're doing the best they can, you know, just hanging in there, honey, you know. Then they come back out and got another oxygen tank and they were trying to get them going. So I took a, 
I took the um, the staff sergeant who was there. I took him aside. I says, I need to talk to you. I says, right now, like she's got a lot of her problems. If you tell her that he passed, it's gonna take her life. We're gonna need another ambulance here for her. I says, no matter what, I don't care. When you're ready to bring them all, just you know, just make up any story. I don't give a shit what kind of story. You know, and um, so it was like an hour went by and she was looking at me and she goes, he's gone, he's gone. It doesn't take that long. Yeah, sure. He's gone. And I'm like, oh, just, you know, just give it a chance, right? And I'm trying to, oh my God, and Juliet's hysteric because she's hysteric. And um, so they ended up bringing them all on the stretcher. They didn't cover them up. Really? And they said that they faintly got a heartbeat. They got to get him to the hospital right away. So they got him out. And then um, they ended up uh, having him on life support. And um, I'm thinking, like, because I went to see him with me in. And um, they had him on life support. And I told him, I said, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Is that us, 115? Uh, 115. Was that us? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, might as well. Awesome. You guys are amazing. Thank you. I didn't need an extra hand. <laughs> Look at the size of those hot dogs. I can't believe how fast that was, too. These two are the same? Uh-oh. Wow. Yeah, I believe so. Oh, my God. Thank you, Sharon. <laughs> Much appreciated. Thanks, Sharon. Oh, this one just too good. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I need to even toast the bun, too, eh? Mm-hmm. And the way I'll share them, guys. They just give me so much. So the next day, I, um, I told Marv, I says, Marv, you gotta pull the plug. You gotta pull the plug. And she goes, yeah, Ash goes, that's why I'm calling you. We're gonna pull the plug. And she goes, you wanna be there? And I says, I can't. See? No, that's tough. That's crazy. That's it. Dog. Yeah, it's something else. Hey, you want to go grab us some uh, cream and just go up to the counter there. Cream and sugar. <laughs> mm. Wow. <laughs> wow, it's amazing. Yeah, I'm glad my um my sister was the one that was looking after my mom. Like she got her put into a, a a palliative care home and and eventually a hospice. But she was the one that had to make the tough decisions, and I'm so grateful that I didn't have to. It's hard. It's got to be so tough. It's hard. Mm -hmm. What's that? Yeah. Harry's mother. Why, what do you drink? I uh, chocolate triple. I wasn't sure if you were chocolate triple. Oh. Harry, you gotta listen to this one. This is yeah. hilarious. Harry's mother. Did you ask for yours, triple triple? Yep. Harry's is it triple triple or is it black? Black. Oh, okay. Harry's mother, my ass's mother, did an overdose. All right. Mm -hmm. yeah, she was on life support. Um, they they ran that summer. Her brain was dead. There was no after nothing. Mm -hmm. So they called us to the hospital to pull the plug. Got a load of this one. The doctor come in. It was Harry, me, his sister, and her husband. When they pulled that plug to me, her eyes fucking popped up and she sat up. And she's going, you got to brush your teeth. 
What? Wow. I jumped back. To she might not have been aware of what's going on the or anything. The doctor jumped back. Holy shit. I'm thinking like, is this for real? Wow. She come out of it. That's crazy. Well, a year later, she did another overdose and she died. But that time, I'm like, holy oh, shit. Good look. Hard. The shit out of me and the yeah. doctor. Yeah. Yeah, her eyes popped open and she sat up. I can tell you, here you go brush his teeth. I don't want to know what's going to your mind that you're in a coma. Good lord. Oh, uh, then a year later, she's done an overdose and died. Damn, do we know how to continue to eat this fucking thing? Mm hmm. Eat as much as you can. Yeah, that's a, that's a monster of a hot dog. Uh, and they're so messy, right? I'm doing all right. <laughs> it's getting it positioned okay, and then you're good. The biggest trouble is getting my meow hole around the whole thing. <laughs> huh. I remember when I was a kid, my dad used to pick up flats of those. Yeah. And then you'd take Pops them back. Up. You can get these at the Dollar Tree, eh? For me and my sister. I'll get them. Even the coffee's good. <laughs> It's nice here because you get to see the water in the winter time. It's so beautiful because the snow is all along the trees. It's just beautiful in the winter. Mind in the summertime, you can't even get near here, especially on the weekend. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so cute. They're sharing a meal, sharing a bit. Mm. They had some lady, um, it was one of these countries where I, if you're poor, you know, but there's no embalming or any of that, you just get buried. So um, they had her in the, in the casket and they had her at a wake, uh, the people viewing, and she fucking woke up. Yeah. I've heard of that, I've heard of she that. She flat out woke up, and so they rushed her back to some hospital and then back to a nursing home. And then she died again after that. But, uh, I've but heard of that. Can you imagine happened. waking up at your own funeral? I've heard of that. That's, that's, that's crazy. I don't think I'd want that. No. My or waking up during your dead. autopsy or something. My uncle went to a funeral. Someone that he worked with, a great big guy, mm -hmm. went to the funeral and they looked up the casket. The body was on it. Hmm. Whole bottom came out of it. Good lord. <laughs> you, know, you want your money back for sure. <laughs> so, when my birth mom died, I uh, I went to her funeral. Um, I had just met her, like literally a year, maybe a year ago. And, um, I don't know, maybe I was just being selfish, but I, I, I was asked to be a, one of the pallbearers, eh, and I, I felt so uncomfortable, because I never knew her, I never knew her, I never grew up with her, I never, you know, I've got a whole other family, I, you know, yeah. I felt so uncomfortable. Yeah, that would be a little awkward. Uh, I mean, I did it, obviously, but. My mom and I, we didn't really get along very well. Um, well. We stopped talking to each other like five years prior to her passing. Mm -hmm. And then I got a call from the hospital telling me I had to come. And she was like on her deathbed. Mm -hmm. And I was the one stuck in all the choices. Mm -hmm. I had to pull the plug and all that. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that sucks. And then I felt bad for feeling like that. Yeah. You know? Like, I didn't know if I was making the right choice. I didn't, I didn't even think I deserved to even be there. Yeah. Well, my father dies. I won't be going to his funeral. 
my first time I met my birth mom was uh, I showed up at her place and she's got three friends, four friends sitting around and they're, they're eating with forks, moose, hair moose. And then they're eating a fork because it's a high alcohol, eh? Yeah, I was shocked. But that was my first meeting my real mom. Her and her four drunky friends, three drunky friends That's eating moose, yeah. hair moose off a plate. Yeah. That's not good. No. And then I had a, I had a year of that. And then nah, she died. Oh, so, is everyone alive? Hmm. <laughs> Yesterday, I can't remember what she said. She said something kind of, I it was just, I don't know. It was just nonsense, which, you know, Tina. <laughs> so I muted her for five minutes. So she couldn't talk. I blocked her from talking for five minutes. Yeah. I don't think she noticed, but. <laughs> God bless her. <laughs> I'm glad you got her the puppy, though. I, I think that's good for her. Yeah, I think so, too. Mm -hmm. You know what we should have done? We should have told her to call it Billy. Because <laughs> then that Billy won't ever run away. <laughs> Can you imagine then the dog fucked up? <laughs> My other Billy's run off. I'm guessing Billy was her old boyfriend? Well, he's, I guess he sort of is, but he goes away for months at a time. Comes back with Papa Jay, stays off with him. Yeah. Oh, is that the Niagara Falls guy? Yeah. Well, his mother died, right? And he inherited the house, but he's not doing nothing to help himself. He wanted to sell the house, but he has no ID, uh, no death certificate, uh, no deeds to the house. Nothing. All stuff that normal people would get and figure out, and right? Yep. So he's got a multi-million dollar house that's going to get taken away from the bank because he's too dumb to wow. sort his shit out, right? On top of that. <laughs> no. He's not doing nothing to help himself. What he is doing is letting a bunch of junkies live there. Because they give them drugs, right? Yeah. Are they at least paying their rent? I don't know. They're making meth in there, too. So I'm waiting for them to I assume all the copper's being torn out of the walls. Yeah. All the wiring's gone. Oh, yeah. I imagine his neighbors just love him. <laughs> I don't know, the, the parade of junkies that come through it. Here, Dwayne. Go ahead. Mm. Oh, my God. Yeah, I was expecting a normal size poutine. This thing, the fries are massive. <laughs> See? You can't get your mouth hole around it. <laughs> I'm so bad. You know you can turn the volume down so that when it rings you don't hear it ringing. But then you might miss an important something else. It's Tina. My daughter asked me. I mean, the hunches. Hunches, why? <coughs> yeah, I told you I was coming up here. Why, what's up? 
Oh, oh sorry. Run the basement, see what's in the freezer. The whole freezer is full right now. Yeah, that's why I'm having a football and a hot dog. What? Or trying to. <laughs> Ask her if she's got 10, I can eat them more until I get home. Just tell her to give it back to her when I get home. Okay then, ask me for 20 and no higher. And I'll give it back to her as soon as I get home. All right, and be careful on the bike. All right, bye. Where are you? I'm hungry. <laughs> There's tons of food at home. Doesn't he cook? I thought he cooks his own he stuff. He cooks through the night mm. in the uh, air fryer. Just to get himself through. That chicken nuggets, all kinds of shit that he likes. Oh yeah. Because when I go shopping, I bring him so he can get what he wants. Smart. I used to do that when I had both of them too. They would all have. Everybody would have their own shopping cart. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's a long way away. It doesn't look like it because you can actually see the buildings, but what the buildings we can see, that's about halfway up the building because of the there. curve of the I was earth. Like that's San Toronto Francisco over there. And then Boston. I think it's Boston, right? That's the states around um, Toronto, so the states is straight up. As far as I know, but I know Toronto's over yeah, there. Yeah, Toronto's over there. But I was thinking, like, because we border with Sarnia, but the states there as well. But you're right, that, it's probably a way shorter gap. That, that's, that's a long way away. Care of Cabana in Hamilton on the mountain. Did you finish it all? No, but I will. <laughs> I don't want to stop eating. You can't take it in the car. You're going to spill it and make a mess. Well, I won't make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> I might even have to eat it. What road is Cara Cabana on in Hamil er, Hamilton? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Call Juliet, she'll know. Uh -huh. Tell her to send you the location. Pot shops in Hamilton. Honey pot, honey pot. It's Karen Cabana. I'm pretty sure I'll get Juliet. This Jen stopped bothering me because I think she was trying to uh, get some money to buy a new vehicle. Barton Street East. It's Canna Cabana. Canna Cabana. If that's if that. Uh, let me find out to make sure. They have a few different ones. A few. There's like 20 pot shops in. Yeah, but it's got to be that Pacific one that has that. Hey, honey, I'm glad you answered the phone. Okay, when we got them, uh, Two, three, uh, them boxes, uh, what, what was the name of that place? Cara Cabana? And what street was it on? Cana Cabana? Cana. Yeah, Cana Cabana. Cana Okay, is there one down the mountain or no? There's one uh, on Rymel Road and there's one on Barton Street. Oh, there's one on Barton Street. <laughs> Barton Street. No, oh, because I want to get a couple more of them gift boxes. They were fun. 
So can a uh, Kara Cabana? Can a Cabana? Yeah. Okay, there's one at Barton Street. Barton and then uh, Rymo Brody's. But Barton and then the one closer. on Rymo. Barton's probably the one that you went to. Oh, okay. Are you working today or no? No. Oh, so she still didn't get paid yet? Or? Really? That's not good. Alright, I was just wondering what the name of that place was, so I know. Okay, honey. Everything alright? Or okay, okay, I'll talk to you later. Okay, love you. Bye. <laughs> On Barton Street. Yeah, it says. Is that, that by Ottawa Street or Kenilworth? So Kenilworth is going to be Upper Mountain, right? So that would be the one in Ancaster, or sorry, Rama Road East. Okay, the other me? one is down the mountain, which is probably closer to where we are right now. What's the name of the road? Uh, Riverdale. It's Highway 8. Oh, I have no idea how to get that one. Yeah, so Highway 8. And that's the one on Barton Street most. Yeah, the Barton Street is the one on one. That's right here. It's in the plaza with the Walmart service. Okay, I know where that is. <laughs> I know where that is. The gas station and all that stuff. Yeah, I know what that is. Oh my I used God. to meet there all the time, so I know what that is. Okay, I'm I know, I'm, I'm stuffed too. But don't worry, I'm going to bring it back to you. Okay, I know what that is. They didn't ask to see my number. I could have just said I was anyone. Huh. Oh my God. As long as it went up there from before them, ran out the door. Julie? Uh-oh. No time for the hole. <laughs> they better have memories there. It depends if you can remember where it went. Was it up the mountain? Yeah, it was up the mountain, so we'll check down the mountain. I buy the the um, center mall. All right. Oh, that's good. Oh, you want the cream? No. What, like a shot? <laughs> Come like a shot? You bring it back. You bring it back. No, I just didn't know. No, I just throw it on the tray. Yeah, yeah, I'm wearing them. I assume you didn't want that going in the garbage, right? As a great lunch, thank you so much. That was good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, the, the poutine wouldn't have been enough, eh? No. Uh, oh, excuse me. Them big footlongs, they're still a battle. When good footlongs go bad. I'm ready for a nap. <laughs> yeah, them gift boxes are so fucked up. I've never seen them. <laughs> They're so freaking cool. Because you don't know, everyone's different. And I like the one so that they're mystery and boxes. Juliet had. I like the one I had, and then I like the one Aiden had. Aiden got a teddy bear bong. What? There's a bong in every box, okay. but you don't know what else is in there. Because huh. I was reading the box, so they said there's a bong in every box. Okay. But these bongs, like, you, 
You don't see them out on the shelves or nothing. Random bones, okay. Yeah. <laughs> So you know where we're going? Yep. Good thing I know my way around most uh -huh. places. From Fort Erie all the way up to Burlington. I know some of up north because my aunts, we've always been up north, but I know a lot of my ways around. I know a bit, but Google's my best friend. Well, I lived in Hamilton here for 35 years. Crystal Beach is my hometown. I grew up there as a kid. I left there when I was 23. My dad still has the same house, but my dad's the evilest bastard you ever want to see in your life. Most abusive person I've ever seen. I'll never forgive him for a lot of shit that he's done. He's actually loaded his shotgun up and lined all, all of us kids up at my mother. He's gonna blow us a fucking away. Really? Oh, he's evil. Well, he was in the military for so many years. That's no excuse. But then he became president <laughs> in the boat club, the Lee Jang, that town. Of Probably Fort through Erie. threats of violence. So he was always, uh, he was a fireman. He was always bossy and controlling. He only spoke once. If he told you to do something, you've done it. And don't ever say no. If you ever said no, man, you got it and you got it good. He only spoke once. That's the military side of it. But to take it out of oh, your kids, that's... He used to beat the shit out of my mother. See, I'll never forgive him. I and he's still about, evil. You know, the stories about cops are true, sure. And you know, he's still an alcoholic. He's been an alcoholic since I can remember. And I can go back until I was three years old. And he's still an alcoholic. And he's 90 years old. And he always smoked. That's not good. And he's 90. My mother's <laughs> Give him a Red fucking bottle. He can drink a 40 ounce or in a case of beer. He drinks through the night too. He wakes up and he'll chug uh, straight vodka. Yeah, that's a filthy alcoholic. That was my mom's ex. And he's still alive. A Mickey every morning. That that was his breakfast. Was a Mickey. That's pathetic. He goes to bed around five. I've for drinking and driving so many times. So he'll go to bed around five in the afternoon, and uh, he'll be up at two, three in the morning, and then um, through the night to be up. My mom says he goes to bed with a bottle beside the bed. That's, that's my that's stepmother pathetic. was the same way. Sitting there fucking drinking the last drops of it like that. That's what he would do in the morning too. And he's ninety. Alcoholic. And he's still abusive. Disgusting. I had to get my daughter, Leanne, to get a hold of the police because I was in Hamilton, Leanne was in Burlington, my mom was in the house she's in now. He was threatening to kill her over a fucking tomato plant because hers were bigger than his. Wow, what an idiot. And the cop, when the cops were there in less than two minutes, well, when cops were Is he dead? Was, no, he's still alive. Oh, that's a shame. And, um,. So he was threatening to kill my off. mother over a tomato plant. I go, are you freaking Where is he? Right is now? he like in a home or something? Crystal Beach. No, he's still in the same house we grew up in. But he's like old, right? He's 90. We should go pummel him. <laughs> I meet him in a back well, me, and, me and him will hold him while yeah. you give him a beating. Oh, this is for my childhood. Thump, thump. Take this is for my mom. Thump, thump. But when my daughter phoned the cops, they were at the house less than two minutes. And uh, the cops looking at my mom, a welling cop, looking at my mom over a tomato plant. My mom goes, yeah, because she grew hers bigger than his. And I'm thinking, like, are you adults. nuts? You're threatening to kill this is what we call mom because she grew a bigger tomato plant than what you have. See, every generation has its problems. Like, holy shit. My generation is... I would have killed him. Yeah. I would have I poisoned his coffee mom. or poisoned his beer mom. or poisoned his drink. Uh, the Americans that... Here, lived, let me get you another bottle, honey. See, the Americans that lived next to us, it was only their summer cottage, um, Joe Barlotti, he was in the mafia. And my mom told him, get me some fucking arsenic. My mom was going to pour arsenic in his fucking drink, and Joe goes, no, I'm not going to let you do that. My mom goes, why? How many people have you killed? I can't kill this fucking prick. Right. right? Exactly. What's good for you is good for me. Come on. Plus, it's deserved. 
death. It deserved death. That sucks that a guy like that just lives his life or, you know, dies a natural death and no repercussions. Like, he needs a, he needs a beating and a torturing. And the, only, and the only one that tossed him is my oldest sister because she's in his will. He won't put me in his will because I don't talk to him. <coughs> what could he possibly have, and anyway? He used to rape my friends. Donna, my best friend, that's okay. even now that I went to kindergarten with Dwayne. I've known Donna since we've been four years old. She's still my best friend in Crystal Beach. And he's actually raped her. And my mom's friends. What a scumbag. So, and he wonders why I won't talk to him. He's a scumbag. He needs a crossbow bolt through the head. Fucking asshole. The only time I'd want to see him is to fucking punch his fucking head in. Funeral. I won't even go to his funeral. Dwayne ain't worth it. My sister will, but I won't. No. I don't want nothing to do with him. Crap, I wasted that. Oh, well. Oh, wait. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. That was Hutch's. And it was delicious. It was so good. You guys got to try it. See you guys. Do you want a shirt, Jordan? No, no. It's okay. Are you sure? Yep. Yeah, yeah. You guys do. You guys do. Trust me. Died from the seizure. He had one seizure in his life that it took his life. Yeah. And he was left in there three days in the bathroom. Good Lord. Because his father went away for the weekend. And it was more than enough. Let's have a cigarette before we go in. This one? I used to go there because they have all kinds of sales. Rona is Canadian owned. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. yeah. That's good to know. I thought it was American. Yeah. Lowe's is American owned. Lowe's is, and Home Depot is American too. Isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Plus Home Hardware, is that Canadian? That's Canadian. drive-through for Tim Hortons. Hey, yeah, remember there. you said you saw a shooting star last night? I did. You did. did. You really? It was did. part of the, uh, there's a, I read something on the thing that it started last night and it was uh, where to see it. And I thought, my buddy Today, already seen it. 13. Yeah. I thought yesterday was. No, but it was obviously part of that group though. Yeah, so keep your eyes peeled for tonight because it's supposed to pass through tonight. Yeah. I was driving to Burlington and Aiden was seeing the shooting star. I was up on top of the Burlington Bridge. He goes, no, no, i just seen a shooting star. And I goes, I've never seen one. They're seen talking about now. a big potential impact one too, like on the 13th or something like that. Yeah, or, it's supposed to break apart in our upper atmosphere. And, and a, there's a chance pieces. we could get hit. And it's, yeah. they say it's like a city killer size. Yeah. So they're hoping it'll land in like water and shit or break up completely. And it just got detected a couple of weeks ago. Like, yeah, they sure. only caught it a little while ago. <laughs> And uh, at its farthest of, I think it was going to be like 93,000 kilometers or something, which in space isn't a lot, right? No, and then it travels fast too, so it doesn't take much time. Jesus. Yeah. But yeah, no, it's supposed to break apart and around this part. If it lands on us or near us, it'll be so quick we won't have to worry. We'll see a good show until we get quick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> see a good show all of a sudden it's on our yeah. head. Boom. Well, it's not now we're happen panicking. That fast. We'll see it, and we'll probably see it. We'll have time to panic and It'll run be like around. Maybe a month. Go find your dad. <laughs> and drive out to Crystal Beach. Crystal load up with some crossbows. Go take a visit to your dad's before we all die. I don't want to see that asshole. No, no. Well, you can't wait in the car. Keep it running for us. Oh yeah, I'll be a. You pain. ain't taking me alive. No, we never were planning to. You're right. Chicken. <laughs> 
Hell no. Some people have no redeemable qualities and don't deserve to live. No, that's true. Some people just should, should be drunk and hurt. Yeah. We're outnumbered by the junkies, you know that, eh? Oh, hands down. There's more junkies than there is people that in. That's the sad part. <coughs> 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 And, you know, you know, everybody knows about them drugs before you even start them, yeah? And I like to say marijuana is a gateway drug. That pisses me off. Yeah. Pharmaceuticals I've never thought, drug. gee, I wonder how a bit of fentanyl would be this weekend. Exactly. But, no, you give somebody Percocet or something like that and take it from them, they're going to the street and looking mm. for the harder pills. Yeah, they will. Like, fucking pharmaceuticals should be held up to their, you know, They should be accountable for it. They should be. Because, uh... You know, they want to blame it on marijuana. Fuck that. Yeah. Because the doctors are really pushing for that shit. Giving it to people. Yeah, and then they take it. That's how my mom got it, from the medication to the streets. Like Even doctors died. Her mom died. Uh oh, you got a buzz? Oh, not an entrance. Oh, here. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even see that. Not an entrance. I didn't see that either. That's We're funny. Hello. I get to watch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> are we getting some pre rolls too? If you want. Oh, here they are. Here they are. Wait, wait, wait. Where's your box? Oh, there. I was thought she was looking at this. They had more colors, but they probably go out fast, though, right? Each oh, one of those boxes is probably different though, right? Yeah. Uh, 137.99 value in every box. That's amazing. What color do uh, you want? Uh, I'll take a blue one. Jordy? We all get one. I'm thinking on the orange too. I'll take two and blue. And one color, three rolls. Let's ask what they got. Where do they have? Hey guys, can you recommend some good pre-rolls? Maybe a five pack? Infused, non infused? Uh, infused or non infused? Non infused. Yeah? And I want three of the mystery boxes. I got a couple of them out on the weekend. Well, you like she the was so boxes. happy, yeah, impressed. Like them, we come in well in, from Welling. Sp specifically to come here, yeah. Yeah, I bought two on the weekend and oh my god, they're fun. Which yeah. ones did you get? Two or I got, um, they have more colors on the mountain now. Yeah, we have the orange and blue, but let's just double check. Indica or sativa? Uh, uh, indica or sativa. Whatever you recommend. Yeah, a little stronger. We're all big people. I have a six pack of point fours, the Moonwalkers, which is a Jack Carrere. Um, it's Space Queen mixed with Jack's Cleaner, which makes Jack the Ripper. It's a sativa nice. joint. They're right. sitting at 24, maybe? 30 percent. Wow. Okay, yeah, they'll take them. Yeah, yeah. It's a five pack, right? Six pack. Hey, they got, I, we got one that's a six pack. Okay. The color, eh? Then you got the Guns N' Roses. Oh, I like $31. I was wondering why I couldn't see. I still had my glasses on. Oh 
like 95 bucks. Yeah, that's what I want. I have my granddaughter. Um, What's that green leaf thing? Can you see? Is it a bomb? Oh, it is. It's a pipe. Silicone. Oh, it's an ashtray, my daughter. An ashtray, yeah. Oh, an ashtray. That's cool. Yeah, baby yoga. I love baby Is that possible in one of the boxes? Not here, no. though. It was like this high. It was so fucking cute. My granddaughter goes, ew, and I'm going, you don't like baby Odo? Oh, yeah, It's like 30 bucks. That's funny. Oh, but it tells you, like, you know, water pipe. Well, you get a bunch of different things in there. I, I know that I said the original price stickers. is like 140, but you guys get it for like 30. Yeah, 29 something. I bought like two on the weekend up the mountain. Yeah, if you go oh, under to their daily high club, it's like 140 or something. Yeah. They're fun. I bought two on the weekend, and I can't believe the stuff that's in them. Christmas is a rather fun. Everyone has a bone, like that's first one. Apple one. Just sell it for you want. <laughs> but they got all kinds of stuff in there. Blue one? There you go. See? Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, we're just paying for our stuff. Oh, great. Yo, I went from home. They're from California. Nice. Oh, I'm sorry. I like this. Nice I'm glad you got here, though. Two eight nine seven hundred four eight three three. Oh, did you get your pre rolls? Yeah, yeah, right there. Okay. <laughs> All together. Yes. Yeah. It's going and, to be yeah. one twenty five. Yeah. And these. Yeah. Sorry, I wasn't sure of your name. She's the hero today. <laughs> you see this? THC infused drinks. Yeah, I've never actually tried one of those. Yeah. They're good. They just taste like whatever they like, right? lemonade yeah, or grape. Or, yeah, it's but it's more like a body stone, okay. right? Like eating, yeah, eating a, yeah. There you go. Thank you, bro. Have a good one. Oh, it's still illegal in California, isn't it? What is? Oh, yeah, it's legal in California. Yeah, it's got to be. That's probably one of the first ones that got legalized. Oh. Yeah, it's one in Colorado. Colorado, yeah, Denver, Colorado. Mm -hmm. They have really good food there. Thank you. Awesome. You are the best. Which ones did you get? Oh, dab lots. Those are good. Yeah. I just didn't drive. We didn't roll any, so we had, we had nothing for the trip home. <laughs> you got you, you YouTube, right? You watch YouTube? Oh, yeah. Check out my channel. Okay, I will. Yeah. Just my, uh, just my name. Oh, I don't have my phone on me. But uh, I got like uh, over half a million views on my channel. I got like four, over 4,000 videos. I got, uh, I'm almost at 2,000 subs. Let's go. Yeah, it's doing good. Thank you. Just this year I got merch made. <laughs> See you later. I saved $331. Nice. Holy crap, a big sack of joints. Thanks a lot. She's giving him a hug. <laughs> He's giving her. She's giving him sass. <laughs> Is she one of the Barton girls? <laughs> sassy, sassy lady of the night. Honest. Hey, while we're here, could we possibly get a, a Timmy's? Yeah. Uh, we'll hit the drive through eh? Yeah, yeah. Merry Christmas. Thank you. That was her plan. That was my plan. I was wondering why it was so dark in there and I couldn't see. And then I fucking realized I had my sunglasses on. I gotta open mine, I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> you get a bunch of white bowling things too.
that is garbage is just uh, big hits of fur. I'll put it back in the bag. Do you want the pen to... Yeah, good idea. Here, I never thought of this. that. Oh, that's perfect. Here, Jordan. Oh, you got it? Yeah, I got keys. Oh, lucky you. I love of... these boxes, eh? Nice. That they come in? Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Oh, big one out. Ooh, that's scary. Look at that, that guys. Very scary. No, no, oh, look, look. look. What the hell is that? I don't know, but he's scary. I got a gingerbread. I oh, think you got that one. I got the gingerbread skull in a joint. <laughs> Mine's a, a snow squatch smoking Ooh. a joint. Oh, oh. Alright, never mind. It's uh it's an elf. I got an elf and a gingerbread. Oh guys, what Mine's is this? Mine's a stone Sasquatch. What is this? And an Ice King. Do we have any idea what that is? I don't know. Papers, I'd say. Oh, my. Look, I got candy in mine. Okay. Oh, I got a li little lighter. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's this? What's this? Oh, my God. I got a Santa Claus bomb. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's very festive. Oh, oh, oh you get to know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't oh, know what that shit. is. That's cool. Oh my god, I love him. What is this? So you fill it with water? No, it's just a pipe, right? Uh, yeah. What the heck is a hemp wick? Okay, what the uh, fuck is... Um, you can put it within your joints. And it keeps your joint evenly. Jordan, do you have any idea what that is? I think it opens. It's a chapstick. No, no, it opens. That thing opens. Oh. It's a pot. It's a joint holder. Oh, you want that? I don't need that. It would fit in one of my loops. I'm waiting to see what's in this uh, wrapped up thing. Did you get That's another wrapped up thing, Jordan? Yeah. Mine's a snowman, it looks like. I got oh, I got a cool lighter. There. What? Clipper. A bong? Hey, it's yeah. refillable, too. A little bong. Mine's got a Oh, Jordan got the same as I do. Marshmallow. Yes. Jordan, you got the same. Oh my God, look. That's pretty cool. A polar bear. Yeah, it's a little polar bear. Let me see what I got. <laughs> there's no rush on it. Well, of course there's a rush now. You guys both got cool ones. I I'll probably no, get no, a no, crappy he, one. There's no rush on the bomb. It's just oh. a straight, like a straight <gasps> He's a monster. Oh, that's oh, what it is. Uh, uh, a little snow squatch. Aww. Oh, that's that cool. is cool. Yeah. I love my Santa. Very festive. The Santa. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's one of the dab mats or something Aiden says. These the things are. Wow. Yeah, I got one of those too. I don't know what that is though. What dab mats? What and then there's a sticker inside. Daily High Club. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we like oh, it. container for like Look at that, the tamper. The tamper is a uh, an icicle. I didn't but got look, one of them. We didn't know what it was for. It's for tamping your cleaning out your bowl. Oh. Scraping your bowl out. And then when you're not using it, it just sits on that thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Aren't these things awesome? I it's love it. It's tamper. I like my little snow squatch. <laughs> he's very cute. He looks pretty high. Yeah, look on this one, he's all high. <laughs> See? That is amazing. <laughs> these are the best gifts, man. When Juliet told me about these things, I thought they're awesome, Christmas. <laughs> yeah. That's why I wanted to come up here so bad. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely an easy box. That is amazing. I can't believe how much stuff they got in there. Holy crap! Like it's lots of stuff. Yeah. Oh, these things are awesome. Pretty cool though, you got to be a bottom of the moment.
Yeah. I know up the mountain they have uh, four different colors. What's ones. that other one? Slow burning papers. I don't know. Formula. Oh, that's a bong cleaner. Oh, that's oh, cool. There you go. Juliet got one of them bong cleaners. That is cool. Oh, you like so clean. I got. Oh, I dropped one of the that's candy. Okay. I did that too. What did you say these are? The dab things. Um, they didn't call them. Oh, that's cool. Are those oh, stickers. Yeah. yeah. Are those stickers? We'll put one on da da uh, Daniel's bike. Oh, I had a thing. No, that's a... <laughs> I just don't want to break it. That's all I need. Uh oh, she's onto us. Act natural. She's looking. Oh shit. Them things are so freaking cool, though. Yeah, you guys have a nice little perfect cone roller. There's oh, papers in there. Yeah, so you can roll cones. Oh, gotcha. And then you get your own little light. Would you roll coins? Because all I I've roll never... is those, you know, the I roll big joints anyway. I would, I would try. If you want to try. Never actually. Thank you. That's amazing. <laughs> it, is it paper or is it just a roller? Uh, paper? I think it's papers. papers. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh. Uh oh. Yeah, no, 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 go ahead. I, I don't roll cones. What the hell? Why won't it go in? Try this way. <laughs> Look, but it won't go all the way in. Mine didn't either. I love these boxes. You never know. There, I got my name. And I got two bongs. What did you do, Arjun? You got two bongs? Yeah, I got that uh, polar bear. And the, uh, I got the polar oh, bear oh. and the Santa Claus. One was a pipe, really. Yeah, yeah. One was a yeah. pipe and one was a bong. Yeah, that's true. Right? That's the difference. Okay. And I got a cooler bong, so I didn't get a pipe. <laughs> oh, you didn't get a pipe? No, no. <laughs> Never know what you're doing. But I got hemp wick. It's called hemp wick. Yeah, and I think you put that inside your joint. So, so it gives it an even, uh, like an even burn. That's crazy. Or you can use it to light your joints. Right. You that probably sounds more likely. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. It probably smolders and you can just touch it to your, your joint to the... They're fun. That is. That's very cool. Because they're all different. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, that's it. That's uh, Canna, can can what, what is it? Canna Cabana yeah. in Hamilton out on, uh, where are we? Barton Street. Barton Street. Watch out for those Barton Street girls. See you guys on the next one. <laughs>